Hello everybody. Today I'm just getting caught up, first off, getting caught up on all the RFS Dan videos I didn't see yet. Like this one. And I made an appointment to get new glasses today because these are from 2018. They're not working very good anymore. They look like crap. They're falling apart. They don't stay on my face. I know you guys can't see it, but there's this weird stuff on there I have to keep scraping off with my fingernails or it all looks like fog all the time. There, now you can see it. I don't know what it is because there's no scratch coating. There's no anti-reflective coating. But yet there's this junk all over. And if I don't keep scraping it off with my fingernails, I can't see. It's all foggy. Don says he thinks that the, the plastic is just disintegrating. And I'm not going back to where I went before because they won't shave down the lenses. So I got Coke bottle glasses. And there's no scratch coating, no anti-reflective coating. So I, for since 2018, I have looked like I don't have eyes. And since these are not shaved off, I look like I have teeny little eyeballs in my head. And these were crappy frames in the first place. They don't even match. The bows don't match with the glasses. And that's because they told me, the, the eye doctor's office told me that the only pair of glasses they had that my insurance would pay for would be these, but there was a, a bow broken off. So I think, you know, they said they could send them in and they would replace the bow. Well, I think they replaced both of them and now they just don't match. These are, glasses are green. The bows are blue. What did you say? Check this shit out? Yeah. What's that? Shit off from that fucking flap that that dude was, that the uh, Chevy technician was talking about. Well, you're so excited you're shaking. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. So you think now maybe the EVAP sensor problem will go away? I'm, uh, I'm hoping that dude's right, because look at all that carbon on that flap. He yeah, said just a little bit of carbon, he said, can cause that to act up. Yeah, he got he bought carburetor cleaner so that he could clean that up. But yeah, it's covered in the damn flap is just drenched in this shit. Oh, I hope that's so the I'm, problem. So I'm thinking that that might be the problem, because he said that the problems that we're having, that he's seen that time and time and time again, so. Yeah, somebody commented on our videos, said that he was, uh, a technician at a downstate Chevy dealership, so yeah. he gave us some tips on trying to trying to take care of this EVAP sensor problem. Yeah. And I sprayed everything down on the outside shell before I left earlier. Yeah. No, no changes in the tone of the motor. So. All right, but it's it's just too bad that that guy didn't come along sooner because you spent so much money replacing parts that o over two hundred dollars. Yeah, you you replaced both EVAP uh -huh. sensors. You replaced the. Fuel the neck. fuel neck and the gas cap. Um, and then I uh, had cut some ends, uh, quick connect, disconnect ends off and replaced those with a piece of neoprene hose and regular uh, hose clamps. Yeah, none of that did any good. Um, it Well, by changing the fuel filter, I noticed it does run a little better, so... Yeah. Uh, the fuel filter did have to get changed because that was just pack rate full of stuff. Oh yeah, the fuel filter too. Yeah. But so. anyway, you interrupted me mid-clip, and I didn't get to finish what I was saying. No, oh, I was just excited. Oh, well, all right then. That I'm hoping that this is the problem. Yeah. I'm hoping. So anyway, these I can't see well, very well anymore with these glasses either, like the TV and stuff. You're supposed to get new ones every two years, and it's been like almost three and a half years, so I waited too long. But I made the appointment today, and it's not until October 19th. But I'm not using any kind of insurance, I'm just paying cash because when you use insurance, you don't get the basics. They don't shave down your lenses, you have very limited frames to choose from, and the ones that they do have are garbage, like these things. No anti-scratch coating, no anti-reflective coating, just the bare basics. I need a little bit more than that. 
nothing fancy, but at least the basics that everybody else gets. So I have more, a little over a month to wait yet, but at least there's a light at the end of the tunnel now. And Chewy came today, so Gizzard has his new collar. It's the same one, no, it's not too tight. It's the same one Smokey has. So now they match and their food came. There's two of those. And their litter came the other day, so they're all set. Right, Kylo? All your guys' stuff is here. And it's been raining on and off. Again, sunny, raining, sunny, raining. Here comes Smokey. And White Storm, there goes. There go the orange boys. <laughs> bye bye orange boys. Well, that's quite the rainbow. I didn't even put the camera on the, on the gimbal. I wanted to just hurry up and grab it before it went away because I don't think it will last forever. But that's pretty cool. It started raining a little bit and then the sun came out and there we go, a double rainbow all across the sky. Dinner tonight is side pork and tater tots. This is all spiced up with salt, pepper, onion, and garlic, and it's waiting to go in the oven. I have not had side pork since 1989 or 1990, and I don't think Don has ever had it. It's not bacon. It's not cured. Normally, it's much, much bigger, but we got this from Tom's Market, and it's like little tiny, little tiny baby ones, but it'll make a good dinner. Are you looking forward to dinner? Sure. Because you said you've never had side pork before, right? Never heard of it? Well, I've never heard it called side pork, but it's almost the same thing as bacon, but not quite. No, because they, it's not salty. No, it's because it hasn't been cured. Yeah, and it's, it's thicker. So that puts it under the category of prep. But Plath's Market in Roger City always called it side pork, so that's all I knew it by. Well, I'm just never really been around side pork much. It'll be good. Yeah. So anyway, it is 8.15 at night. We always just eat really, really late for some reason. But we will be going to see the Richard Crane Memorial Truck Show Parade of Lights in Mackinac City on September 18th. So that's really cool. Look forward to that and otherwise i don't know but so we're going to go ahead and say good night and we hope you enjoyed the video and that you like comment subscribe and that you're having a good night say good night say good morning and we'll see you next time